How's it going everybody? So today in this video we're going to be showing how to calculate due dates based on a lookup field from a customer's table and it's going to be dynamic for different tasks. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help businesses probably just like yours build out systems in Airtable just like this one. So if you're interested in getting some help, check out the link in the description and you can book a call to talk about your system with me or someone on my team, uh, potentially tomorrow. So we're gonna jump right into it now. The idea in our last video was we were calculating dates based on today's date, but I realize it might not always be today's date that we're calculating these dates on. So also just a quick overview of what we built so far. Every time we add a new customer, to this system, we have it automatically generate a list of tasks. So what I'm gonna show is how to use a different date than today to calculate the due date for these new tasks. So you'll see the automation works through and uses dates to fill in this date field right here. So the idea now is we may have a date that's not today's date and a number of days from today that we want this to trigger off of. So to do that, what we need is to add a few fields to this table right here. So the first thing we need is the date that we're going to be referencing. So I'm going to assume that that's going to be pulling from the customers table and we're going to add a field in here that is maybe the start date. So maybe we want to generate this list of tasks well in advance and then we want to use the start date to fill to calculate the dates off of. So maybe I'm saying this customer is going to start on August 31st. Now in the tasks table, I'm going to go add a different view to do these calculations in. That way it's just a little bit simpler. We don't have as many other fields tripping us up. So we just need the due date. We're going to use the customers field. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in that field we just added from the customers table into this table. So I'm going to bring in that start date field. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another field and I'm going to say this is the number of days after that start date that this task is due. So number of days after start and this is for the due date. Then what we'll do is we'll add a formula to calculate this. This formula will probably never be shown, so we'll call it like dev due date. And this is gonna be what's used to populate the due date field. So we're gonna say date add start date and then that number field we used is gonna say count. Then we're gonna say that's gonna be in days. There's gonna be some errors in this formula, but we don't have to worry about those because it's not gonna be running on those anyways. Actually, it would trip up the automation. It would make the automation fail and you'll get notifications like this up here. So to make sure it doesn't fail, what I'll do is I'll say only run using this if statement. So only if start date, then our previous formula. That will take out the errors. So now I wanna say maybe five days on that, and four days on that, three days on that, and two days on that. So now you'll see this due date calculates over here. Uh, the key is you'd probably want to key in these, like the template for these numbers in your task templates table, which if you aren't following what the task templates table is, I'll include a link in the end screen so you can kind of see how this system is automatically generating these tasks. But in the task templates, we have this field number of days from now due date as well. This is just like essentially our playbook or our template for every time a new customer gets added, we wanna use these tasks to generate the tasks table. So the first thing I wanna do is fill in that date field. Every time a new customer, again, in that video, I'll link in the end screen, it'll have this automation, a breakdown of this. So the first thing I wanna do is add in that number field so that the calculation can happen. So I'm going to update that and we're going to go add a new customer. Whoops. New customer three. 
gonna mark them as closed one and we'll see it should generate a list of tasks for them. Okay, so we didn't fill in a start date, but we do have a number of days after start that it's due. This is not calculating, and we previously added this due date field in here, so it calculates. All right, so now we wanna adjust our automation a little bit so that it only runs if there's a start date, and then it uses our due date calculation to fill in the due date instead. So we'll modify this automation, and we'll say only run on this, because I want these dates to calculate only run if the start date is not empty. So that's our first update. Our next update is going to be, let's see, I don't think there's anything else required other than one update record action. So the key here is when we create the record, it will calculate our due date. And then we want to use the calculated due date to place into the editable field so that if it needs adjustment, it's easy for the team to do. So this creates a record in tasks, and here I want to update that same task record. So it's gonna ask which record ID. I wanna use the create record, Airtable record ID from that create record. And then the field that I'm gonna to use to update is I wanna update this due date field, and I'm gonna change this to dynamic, that way we pull the calculated due date in from the previous step. And use the little blue plus, go to this create record action, and use the dev due date field. So now let's update that. Let's go back, well, let's just delete all of these and we should be able to watch this run. So now if I go back to customers, I'm gonna delete a few of these to get them out of the way. It's gonna be new customer four. I'm gonna mark them as closed one I'm gonna put their start date as my birthday. And then in the task table, we should see these create. And then we should see it update the due dates with our new calculation. So now you'll see it calculates these due dates. These look the same right now, but now in our team, in our view that the team would use, we would hide all these things down here. So these fields will all be hidden. And now the team, if they need to adjust this date, they could add a day or maybe they could subtract a day uh, from that. So if you missed some of the rest of this video where we built out the previous automation to generate, use the task templates to generate the tasks, I'll link it right here in the end screen. So go check that one out if you're curious on how to, every time you say have a new customer, for example, it uses task templates to generate a list of tasks. But hopefully this was valuable for you. If you need help building this kind of stuff out for you or your team, again, check that link out in the description and we could get on a call as early as tomorrow to help you out. So hopefully this was valuable. I'll see you in the next video.